Welcome to Math 142. My name is Chuck Devanji, and I am your uh, instructor for this course for uh, winter of 2023. And it, we are we are all online. Um, in this video, I just want to do a quick orientation for WAMAP, talk about the course a little bit, and just get you in good shape uh, to get going. So. If you're here, uh, you've already logged into WAMAP, you've probably already looked at things like announcements and things like that. Uh, in announcements, as I'm sure that you know, um, there's gonna, these will come out weekly. They'll talk about what's gonna happen in the week. Sometimes there'll be an additional thing midweek if someone sends me a question that I think everyone would benefit from or something like that. Um, so you've already probably looked at this because you're watching this video. And uh, here's a little thing I'm using late passes. I'll talk about late passes in a little bit. So the way the course is laid out, I have every week laid out like this. And um, right now I'm looking at the student view. What you would see if, if we were to look at my view, um, the whole week is, is, I mean, sorry, the whole course is laid out and ready to go. I release uh, a week, two weeks before anything is due. So please feel free to work ahead on anything. In fact, I really encourage you to take the time uh, just to get ahead uh, in this course. You can turn in anything early, with the exception of the midterm and the final. All right, so if I look into a week, I'm going to look here at week one, getting started. Uh, you've already, again, probably looked at this because you're watching this course intro video right now. Um, look. And then these right here are the lectures for the week. So like 6.1, that ties to that section 6.1 that's in your text. Um, I have a lecture that I've done here, and then I have some suggested um, problems for you to do. Some people who don't have the book, I try and post at least a couple of the problem sets to give you some time to get the book. Um, I do not collect the homework. I don't check the homework. I really encourage you to do the practice, though. Math is a doing activity. Um, get that practice in, and you'll be in great shape. I try to post additional videos as well along some of the same ideas that we're working on. So these were the lectures for the week uh, and the associated practice out of the text. Uh, also quizzes and forms. If there's any quizzes and forms for that week, most weeks there are, they'll be posted in here. So there's a form that we need to uh, post in. Um, and here's the practice quiz, the first quiz that we'll take. And it, it'll tell you when it's due. Notice it's due at 11.59 PM. That's when it closes. So make sure you're done with it before, before it closes. Again, you can always do anything early in here, and I super, super encourage you to do so. I'm gonna back out a little bit. All right, let's take a peek at the syllabus and the calendar. I'll probably say this a couple times. Um, look, it says the calendar's printable. Print, print it out and post it, really. You're, you will, it will help you a lot if you do that. All right, let's take a peek at the syllabus. Uh, here's the class. That's my that's my email at Wacom. I'd really prefer that you use the messaging system through WAMAP, and I'll talk about how to use that in a minute. Uh, here's a you know description of the course, that sort of thing. Uh, exam schedule. Please note these are fixed dates and these are important dates. Uh, so the midterm is Tuesday, February seventh. The final is Thursday, March twenty third. Those assessments will be done online, and um, you'll have the whole day to, to do them. Please, please don't miss them. If, if if something comes up, you get ahead of me beforehand, you say, you know, hospital, that sort of thing, I will work with you. Um, please don't just email me afterwards and go, you know, I forgot that we had a test. Uh, just get that on your calendar now. It's laid out, it's there. You, you should be able to hit it. Um, so grading scale, you can look at that. This is a very important note. This class ends at the final. The final is the, it's final. Um, all work must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. the day before the final exam. I won't accept any, any late passes after uh, 11.59, the night before the final. Six late passes are granted to each student. Each late pass extends the due date on a practice or a time quiz. They cannot be used on forums, midterm, or the final. And you can get through them through the grade book on the actual assignment. Here's a, uh, oh, sorry, it was back a little bit in announcements, I think. There's a little video on how to use late passes. Um, this is the breakdown, how grades are gonna be um, weighted in this. We have the midterm and the final, 30 and 
Uh, practice quizzes and forums combine to be 15% of the grade. They're both graded. And the time quizzes are 20% of the grade. So the homework, like I said before, uh, the practice set to do, it's not graded. Those are the things that are attached to the lecture. Those are good practice problems. Try them all. Send me questions about them. A midterm and final, um, they're both online, February 7th, March 23rd. Each test must be completed in a consecutive two-hour sitting between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. So on the date of either of these assessments, um, it opens at 8 a.m. and closes at 10 p.m. And uh, you have two hours in that window to complete it. And 10 p.m. is a hard deadline. So if one were to start the, the test at 9 p.m., they would only have an hour to work on it. Um, also, I really, really strongly recommend that you submit scratch work uh, after each exam. You, you have some time afterwards, like a half hour, just to get take a picture of your um, scratch work, put it in a message in WAMAP and send it to me um, so I can see your work. So that allows me to grade your test a lot more fairly. I can give you partial credit or something like that. Okay, practice quizzes and forums. Um, so forums, um, are going to be like a prompt, just a question that you need to respond to. Um, you need to respond to someone else's response as well. In the forums, your answer should be your answer. Uh, don't send me links to like someone else's work. Don't copy and paste something from someone else. I really want you to process the question and you to answer it in your word. Uh, they are graded. Practice quizzes, practice quizzes are not timed. So you can open it up, spend as much time as you need on it. Um, they do have a finished a due date, though. You're allowed multiple attempts, four attempts on each question on the practice quiz. It's really practice. Uh, so I suggest you start early, uh, spend the time to get it done. Um, yeah, use that quizzes and forums block uh, that I showed you to know what's due. So time quizzes, time quizzes are a lot like the practice quizzes. If you do good on the practice quiz, um, the next associated time quiz, you will do great on it. Uh, the practice quiz is truly practice for the time quiz. Um, you have two hours to complete a time quiz. Again, that's consecutive to our sitting. Um, you get three attempts per problem on each one. Um, and they start as soon as you click on them. So don't click unless you're ready to start. Uh, there's no warning page, you hit start, your clock starts. Uh, a couple things on this. Uh, when in doubt, round to three decimal places. That's just good practice. Um, some of the default answers, you know, if you only round to two places, it'll mark it wrong. Um, I do look at all of your answers and I go through and I manually override the auto grader on these. I look at everyone's work. So um, give me a minute, you know, after they're due to take a look at them. If you feel like you've been shortchanged on something, just message me. I'll let you either know uh, what I think the mistake was, or I'll give you the points if, if there was something wrong with the autograder. That happens, that's part of my job. Next piece I wanna look at is the printable calendar. Did I mention it was printable? Uh, print this out. This has all the due dates. This course is laid out um, for you. So here is the whole uh, time that we are together. Things that are um, italicized, are like daily work that's due. So for, for example, we have a forum due on, on the 5th, on Thursday. We have practice quiz one due on this. Uh, where it says 6.1, 6.2, those are the lecture homework combinations. So next week, we're gonna cover 5.1, 5.2, and 6.3. Notice next week, the response to the week one forum is due. Week two forums due. Practice quiz one B is due. Time quiz one, right? So it's like this. Uh, Midterms, February 7th, bold. Midterm, uh, final, March 23rd, also bolded. Um, let's see, oh yeah, I tried to structure it so that once we get into the flow of the course, um, we have some consistency. I couldn't make it always work this way, but for the most part, forms are gonna be due on Wednesdays, responses are gonna be due on Fridays. Sometimes they'll push to the next week, just depends on if the week is short or not. Uh, practice quizzes typically will be Fridays. Uh, time quizzes sometimes are Fridays too. So practice quiz and, and times quiz move around a little bit. I try to make it as, cons as consistent as I could and still have decent flow for the class. Um, print this out, post it where you work. 
you won't miss any deadlines. Uh, typing math symbols in WAMAP, take a good look at this. One of the things I really like about WAMAP is that we can type math back and forth to each other. So for example, uh, messages over here on the left. Like if I wanted to send an email to someone, I would, I would bring this up and uh, I would send a new message, <laughs> sorry. Send it to somebody, blah, 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 whatever this is. Now, um, you know, I can type whatever I want to the person, but what's great is, I think, um, you can either go to the math editor here where it says enter new math, or you can type, I think it's top left, it's the little tilde, uh, and you can type on into it. So notice if I say five divided by three, and I arrow out of there, it converts it to five thirds. Or if I say uh, x to the second power plus nine minus x to the third divided by y to the seventh, or square root of seven, or uh, square root of y, something like that. Notice it, like I can type in math. This is such a good tool for us. So two things here. Um, New math, or it's not, it's actually not the, yeah, it is the tilde, or you can type a tilde to get into there and arrow out. Um, and also, if you want to send me a message, send me a message here. One last thing, uh, we have forums to post in. Um, notice a lot of forums are up already. We can ask questions. This question's for the instructor forum. Um, if you have a question that you think other people might benefit from it as well, post it there. And I will, uh, like, you know, I don't understand the solution to number three or something like that in, in section 6.1. And I'll write a solution. Everybody can uh, look at it. Or sometimes other students will write a solution as well. You can always message me questions too. And if I find it really interesting, I'm, I'll post the question there. Okay. Um, wow. I hope you are ready for a good quarter. I'm here to help you. Uh, that's what they pay me for, to help you understand what you need to get from this course. So please message me. Ask me questions. I will work with you uh, to make this a really successful course to you. Okay. Thanks a lot.